What's up, the Hunter Deer Bear, and I'm going to show you how to get the best knife class ever. So first off, you're going to start off with a blank class, completely blank, just for that reason. And you're going to go to perk 1, and you're going to put lightweight on. Then you're going to go to perk 2, and put toughness on. I just checked hardwire for a second, because that was brand new. Toughness. Then you go to perk 3, and you're going to put dexterity, or extreme conditioning. I choose extreme conditioning, just for that reason. Um, I would recommend extreme conditioning. Then you're going to pick a combat axe, or whatever grenade you want, it doesn't really matter. Tactical, shock charge. Make sure you get the shock charge, that'll save your life 10 times over. Now for wild cards, you're just going to do perk 1 greed, and perk 2 greed if you feel like it. Now, um, for perk 2 greed, I recommend that you get fast hands. Um, for perk th 1 greed, I recommend you get hardline. Now if you don't want, if you don't want, um, if you want a pistol at the sidearm, just take away perk 2 greed, and then go to the TAC 45, which is like your best choice for a sidearm, or the B23R, or if you are that much of a rank cap 40, which is uh, really hard to unlock. But then you're going to put that on, and then you have your perfect class. So, then, when the gameplay starts, I'll tell you guys how to kill them. This has been the best class that I've, that I've, that I've come through, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Let's go! So let's begin great tips and tricks on how to actually do well as a knife slash hunter guy who the knife custom class with only the knife, not no pistol, not no range thing, with your combat axe and your uh, dual wield pistols. The ballistic knife doesn't really work that well for this because you would need the knife by itself. So there's that. Um, first off, you want to use your shock sticks whenever you feel you're in a sticky situation and you can't get out. That means when you're at a range where they can kill you and shoot you, then you need to use your shock stick, use cover, go around them, and stab them right in the fucking face. Like I did in that vid, like I'm doing right now. Secondly, you're going to want to use your combat axe, your throwing axe, your throwing knife. Whenever you feel that it is impossible and you have no more shock sticks and there's a long range target, when you get that combat knife kill, it's the best kill that you're going to get. Three, you're going to stick to corners. There's no reason that you should be out in the open. And you're going to try to play in hardpoint a lot because they're easy to flank. Flanking is probably the best tactic as someone who uses the knife. If you don't flank, you're probably not going to get them because you're not going to face someone front up. Uh, the, 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 one of the most quarrels that I have is the hunter, killer, and snipers. Snipers are actually more deadly than shotguns because of the fact that they, all they need to do when they're close up is shoot and they're bound to hit you. Shotguns, they get scared and they get, then they try to turn around and run away. But most snipers can actually hit you with one bullet, and then they'll save their own lives, as as I'm showing right now. It's insanity. So what you're gonna do when you see a sniper, you're gonna walk away from it, try to go around it and stab it. And if you're in one of those situations, try to electrocute a sniper. It might not always work, but hopefully it does. And lastly, you guys have to make sure to play with your team. Use your team wisely. Your team is basically there to provide cover for you to go in and stab them, and they advance. So if from a tactical standpoint, because you're the fastest one on the team, you can actually flank the enemy in the beginning, and you can take the whole team out. I've done it before. I haven't recaptured most of it, but it's happened. You could really destroy the team. And... There's a lot of great tactics to use, so keep on using them, guys. This has been the Hunt Reaper here, and if you want to see a knife video, a knife gameplay, just like my video, drop a like, drop a comment saying, I want to see this video, I want to see you do good, and then I'll put it down. You've seen some of my kills, and uh, hopefully you guys take these tips and tricks and how to use them. Stay tuned, there's a video coming up on how I show exactly how I'm doing good at this game. I got a 10 kill streak, and actually one guy um, lags out, so I had, my kill streaks don't really work, but they're there and it shows them pop up. Subscribe, like, rate, and comment after the video is done, and make sure to stay tuned for the Hunter Reaper. Identified. L-Storm missile on standby. Lightning strike awaiting coordinates. EKIA! Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. Lightning strike coordinates received. Inbound. Negative effects. Repeat. Effect negative. 
Really? Are you fucking kidding me? It is where it happens. And I want to stab someone in the throat. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Hard point identified. AGR on standby. <laughs> 